Hey, Rat Riders, Keith Wheeler here, back with another video for you. And whether you're worried about Amazon KDP closing down accounts recently, or maybe places like Ingram Spark who are kind of shying away from no content, low content books, maybe you don't want to put all your eggs in one basket, or maybe, just maybe, you just like to get a little bit more royalties. Regardless of which one of those scenarios fits you, if not more than one, you definitely want to check out today's video because today I'm going to show you how you can set up your own online bookstore and you can even get it started for free. So without further ado, we're going to head on over to a site called bigcartel.com and I'm going to show you how to set it up. Okay, here we are on bigcartel.com. And if you don't have an account, you just go to sign up. It's going to bring up the pricing page. So as you can see right here, there is five products that you can have. So five books or whatever you're selling on your store for free. No credit card needed. You don't even have to put in a credit card. If you decide you want more than five products and you can do and 50, 50 products is more what you're looking for. It's 10 bucks a month, 9.99. 500 products, 19.99 a month. There's no listing fees like you have with places like Etsy or anything like that. So we're going to do the free one. So we're going to click sign up free. Okay. So you're going to put in an email address, put in a shop name. So we'll just call this Keith Wheeler store. Okay. It's going to give you a little URL right here. Click sign up. It's going to send an email over to you for verification. All right. So it's all verified. So if I just refresh this page, there we go. That's the Keith Wheeler store. Okay. So this is my dashboard. It's going to give me a getting started checklist right here. And it's, you know, location of currency, adding a product. So the first thing we want to do is we want to design our shop. So I'm going to click on design your shop. We're going to go right here and I'm going to click design. There is a tutorial if you want to go through, like I just closed it out, but you can go through and it'll take you step by step through it. This is what my store looks like to begin with. Uh, you can click over here, desktop. It'll show you what it looks like as on a tablet and on a phone. So right now we'll just do desktop. And this is the default theme, but you can click over here on themes. There's plenty of themes to choose from. So I'm going to pick this pickle juice right here. So we're going to click use theme. Yes, I know it's going to change it. That's fine. So now I'm going to go to settings. And in settings, you can make so many different changes. First thing you can do is you can go in and you can add in all of your different uh, social media URLs. So those are all there. You can add in the currency sign, which is gonna be the default. But if you don't want that, you can actually uh, have the currency code. So it'll say USD and then it'll say the dollar sign. I can't imagine why you wouldn't, but if you don't want people to be able to, to search, then you, know, you can deselect this, but it's gonna default. Uh, the number of products per page you can change, uh, the number of featured products. So this is the number of products that are going to show up on your homepage because you can actually add different pages. You can click on pages right here and it'll allow you to add like a, an FAQ. You can add, um, you know, maybe a page for your shipping policy, whatever you want. So it doesn't have to be just one page. So you can set it. And again, it's complete. You can do it for free. So you can do that. But, um, this will be what how the number of products that are going to be on your on your main page. OK, you can change the font types, your font, your primary and your secondary, the colors. But first thing I want to do is I want to go in and I'm going to add in a header image. So I'm going to click here. OK, there's my header image, Keith Wheeler books. If you want to do a slideshow, you can do slideshow. It shows you right here the recommended image size in pixels. So you can do that. It'll hold up to five images and it'll just be like a, a rotating carousel slideshow, which is cool. Okay, so that's everything that I want to do on this. I'm not going to change the fonts or colors or anything like that. So I'm going to click publish. All right, then exit. It brought us back to the accounts page. Now, the next thing we want to do is we want to add in some products, right? Because we can't have a bookstore without some books. And so we're going to click on products. We're going to add a product and we're just going to go down the list. First thing we're going to do is we're going to need an image. So we'll click on image. Okay, so we got image from my Mimi's Adventure book. So I'm going to type Mimi's Adventure. Here for the description, we can just put in whatever you have on your other platforms that you have, like KDP or Ingram Spark or whatever, whatever description you want to put there. Categories. You can set up categories for your page. So I clicked on categories. I'm going to click on manage categories. And I'm going to click add. And I can add in different categories. So let's say children's books. Okay. And as you can see, I've done this before, so it's going to have some defaults in there, but 
Um, we can do young adult because I, I write young adult books as well. And then we'll do some nonfiction. So these are the different categories that the books can be grouped under. And so that makes searching for them both for you on the back end as well as for your customers a lot easier. So this book obviously is not a young adult. It's not a nonfiction. It's just a children's book. Click done. There we go. So that's the category it's under. As you saw, you can be in multiple categories. So the status is going to default to active. You can make it hidden. You can show that it's sold out. Or you can show that it's coming soon if it's something that's not quite live yet. So I'm just going to leave this as active. Uh, I'm going to put a price in here because prices are important. Uh, my default is $8.99. It actually sells, the paperback sells for $12.99 on Amazon. But this is a way to entice people to use your particular bookstore. Because I'm going to get alerted when a sale comes through. So then I can go in and make, place an author copy request. So I get it at a discount. So I'm making a higher profit and my customer is getting it at a cheaper price. So it's a win-win across the board. So I click that. If the book is on sale, I can click this button and it'll show it's on sale. It's not right now. I can add in options. So the individual options, you wonder what kind of options would it be. If you're doing shirts or, you know, things like that, it could be different sizes. If you're doing, you know, uh, you know, other kind of products like that. But for books, the options would be paperback. And I'm going to do it at the $8.99 and then hardcover. And I sell that. I will sell that for $12.99, which is still cheaper than what they'll get on Amazon. Do not forget to click on shipping. This is gonna be where you determine what countries you're willing to ship to. So if you're only willing to ship to the US, you click on that anywhere. You know, if you're gonna ship everywhere, you click on that. I'm gonna do United States. Um, and then you're gonna put in the shipping costs. Now, there are two different shipping costs that you can put in here. You don't have to, but you definitely wanna put in at least the alone. And that is how much it's gonna to cost to ship it. So this is gonna take some due diligence on your end to see, depending on where you're shipping it to what you what countries you select and you can have different pricing for different countries you just click add but for united states i know that the way i ship things it's going to cost me about four dollars regardless of where i ship it so i'm going to actually price it at 550 so this way if i have to do a, a return or something like that um, i've got a little bit of wiggle room now with others means if they buy this book along with other books how much am I going to charge them for shipping? So if they buy this book in addition to other books, I'm only going to charge them a dollar for shipping for this one, for this particular book. And so that will help uh, kind of encourage them to buy more books. And then you're going to go down here. You're going to put in uh, any tax information if if that's necessary. But uh, typically you it, it's going to be the same tax information. You're not going to edit have to edit that. So um, all right. So that's everything for this book. So I just click save. Okay, you actually can go in and create discounts. So if you want to set up a discount for, you know, for, for people that are buying more than a book, or you want to do a discount um, if they buy certain books. So I can click on add a discount and it's it'll generate a code right here. And you just say when customer orders anything or when uh, when they order, you know, at, you know, at least a certain number of products, they spend a certain amount of money and there's all these different drop downs. I'm not going to go into this in-depth tutorial on the discounts, but again, it's a huge, huge benefit to having your own site. And again, encouraging people to keep coming back. So I want to go back to products and this is not how it's going to look on my page. This is just how it looks on my dashboard. Um, it's not how it's going to look on the actual store, but if I want to add new products, I could do that. Just click add product again for the free. I'm allowed up to five products. And so so that's that's adding products. That's setting up your page. Your orders will be here. So as you get orders, it will start populating here uh, in your account. I'll go to account and you can set up and have yourself get alerted via email when a sale comes in. That's the default. It defaults to having it turned on, but you can always turn that off if you don't want that. Now, as you can see right now, it's in maintenance mode. So uh, nothing I've done is actually live. All I have to do is click on this and that will put it into live mode. Um, but I'm not ready for that yet. So right here is going to be my URL, keithwheelerstore.bigcartel.com. Now, you may think that people don't want to type that out and they probably won't, but it depends on how you're doing your site. 
uh, if you're sharing it on like your LinkedIn bio, you're sharing it in, you know, on in your emails and things like that, and they only have to click on it, then how long it is really doesn't matter. But if you have a custom domain, you can just click right here and add a custom domain to it. So I can make it something a lot shorter, like I can just make it, you know, K Wheeler store, something along those lines. So uh, again, I have that flexibility of doing that. As I scroll down, uh, you, you need to, to figure out how you're going to get paid. You know, do you want to accept credit cards? If so, you'll do Stripe. If you want to accept PayPal, you can do that. You can do them both. You can just choose one or the other. So you're going to want to click on this and do that. You know, the taxing information right here, uh, you'll have to go through that. Billing, if you decide to go to the next level, you decide to, to do one of the ones that cost money, not the free one, if you want more than five products, then you'll have to go in here and put in your credit card information. But again, you don't have to do that for the free version. Uh, it's not a trial period. It's free forever as long as you only have those five products. So uh, again, and then you can go through here, as you can see under preferences, uh, these, are, these are what's currently available. Email me when I receive a new order, email my customers when they place an order. And I can go in here and edit it and, and turn things on and off. You can change your password, add in your phone number if you want stuff like that. So um, there you go. So that again is, is a brief overview of how to do big cartel, how to set up your shop. Let's take a look real quick and see what our shop currently looks like. There we go. So this is the shop real quick. Um, this is uh, how it looks on, as you can see, there's different categories, children's books. Um, the, this is the, the tabs. These, these are the categories. I'll have fiction, you know, nonfiction. I'll have young adult, all those different categories all across this, this right here. And that are all clickable. So that's where the categories come in handy. As I hover over this, it's going to tell me the name. It's going to show the price. If it was on sale, it would say right here on sale. So again, just, you know, really, and this, how this interacts is based on the theme. So you can kind of play around the themes and, and see what you like and what you don't. Again, you can always go in and change things around. But yeah, this is what the page looks like right now. So if they were to go in and, and click on here, they would click on the book. It would give them the description right here. They would select the options because remember we had two options. We had the paperback and the hardcover. So if I picked hardcover, it's going to show this and I click on this to add it to the cart. And that is how you can set up your own online bookstore. Now, how fast and easy was that? I mean, you can do it for absolutely no money. Now, yes, there are limitations. Obviously, you can only have five products up there, but what a great way to start your online store. And if it's sometime you want to increase it and put more products up there, they still have very affordable pricing. And I have absolutely no affiliate link or anything like that. Again, you can just go to bigcartel.com. Now, I think we've had a little bit of fun here, so why let the learning stop? Check out this video right here that I did not too long ago that a lot of people have been giving me comments saying they loved. But maybe you've already seen that video, or maybe it's just not up your alley. YouTube says that this one right here has got your name written all over it. I'll catch you in one of these videos, and remember to write right.